People are going to tune in to find out what all the fuss is about. Because people keep hearing the names over and over. Duck Dynasty, Phil, Duck Dynasty. You know, it, it just gets into their head. But that's the scam by use of polarization. And it works. People are on Facebook. Support Phil. Support Phil. Which side are you on? <laughs> I predict that Duck Dynasty and the A&E Network are going to have a very Merry Christmas and Happy New Year this season. And for those who have been emotionally moved enough to be outraged by it and want to boycott A&E, well, you're going to have to boycott a hell of a lot more stations than just A&E. You're going to have to boycott all Disney, History Channel, Bio, Discovery. They own them all. doesn't matter if you run away from them. They're going to get you on another one of their networks. You want to really boycott the network? Turn off the TV. Just turn it off. Which is probably the best thing for you anyway. <laughs> At the very least, start paying attention to when the controversy is utilizing polarizing issues that divide people. Which is where the real damage is done because they get people arguing and fighting over absolutely nothing. Because those in the know care not about the controversies that they create. They only care about the predictability of your reaction. The word controversy begins with the prefix con, which means, straight from Google, verb, persuade someone to do or believe something, typically by use of a deception, or a noun, an instance of deceiving or tricking someone. <laughs> but anyway, I wanted to give a not-so-subtle reminder of how polarity is used against you by those in the know time and time again because it's happening right now with this whole duck dynasty controversy more like manufactured sales ratings and free advertising so don't be fooled recognize it for what it is 